The Basics of Good Board Behavior by Dr. David Metzen To paraphrase Joni Mitchell, I've looked at boards from both sides now. Serving as the South St. Paul Superintendent of Schools for 18 years, and serving for 12 years on the University of Minnesota's Board of Regents plus two years as chairman of that board, has given me unique insight into the dynamics of board behavior. Mix in 30 years on a bank board, and serving as director on several non-profit boards, and I've pretty much covered all the board bases. Here are my guidelines for achieving better board dynamics. Respect boundaries. Board members should never go around the CEO. It's a great temptation to fly solo and drill deeper into the organization, but undermining the CEO like that buys you a one-way ticket to dysfunction junction. Soon the CEO is spending half the day putting out the fires you started. Embrace diversity. The days of boardrooms stocked with nothing but white males are over. But diversity isn't just about gender and racial balance. It also means diversity of interests, backgrounds, perspectives, and skill sets. You make better decisions with people who bring different things to the table. Build a healthy environment. Watch out for the CBCers, complainers, blamers, and criticizers. They are cancers that rot the board from within. Good people, whether board members or staff, will not work in a corrosive environment. As the poison starts to spread, the eagles will fly away, and you'll be stuck with the turkeys. Be invisible. A good board is like a team of good referees in a basketball game. They set the rules and expectations by which the game is going to be played. But you don't even know they're there. A bad referee dominates, crosses boundaries, takes over a game, and suddenly the players are not the focus. The referees are. Manage and monitor. The board chair is responsible for managing the board. What does that entail? Overseeing committee assignments, drawing out member strengths, and keeping tabs on boundary issues are some starters. The board chair constructively challenges members and holds them accountable. Never stop growing. What's a ten-letter word that begins with S and ends in disaster? Stagnation. A board needs to be stocked with lifelong learners committed to the relentless pursuit of personal and organizational self-improvement. Think big picture. The role of the board is visualizing where the organization will be at least three to five years in the future, then articulating that vision and putting policies in place that will get it there. If an issue can be resolved in the next month or the next year, it's likely a management decision. Build bench strength. One of the first questions a board should ask is, what happens if the CEO gets hit by a turnip truck? If you can't identify at least one person within the organization whom you would consider for the job, you've got a serious problem. Trust is a must. Absent trust, a board can't effectively resolve the tough issues. Information will be withheld, cliques will form, and consensus will be undermined. A good board engages in open and candid dialogue, confident that every member is trying to do what's best for their organization. Unite as a team. People may think teams always get along. That's not necessarily the case. A true team player will speak up whenever a peer or an idea needs to be challenged. But once the decision is made, you have a responsibility to support that decision. In my view, the primary characteristics of a good board is that it's always striving to get better. I hope these guidelines spark your board and CEO to take inventory and begin a candid dialogue. No topic should be off limits. You can reach new heights if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and dissect your dynamics, reinvigorate your relationship, and iron out the issues. The potential payoff is huge. Greater trust, deeper understanding, 
improved effectiveness, and best of all, happier stakeholders. This has been The Basics of Good Board Behavior by Dr. David Metzen. Production copyright 2022 by Dr. David R. Metzen.